Welcome back to Waterville Shiplets and today's video is in the Cleveland. Now I've included this video not because the bit battle is spectacular but because um, rather unusually for me um, it's a battle of quite good positioning so um, for those of you who tend to watch me play I'm a bit of a brawler and a knife fighter and I generally take a British cruiser or a Pan-Asian destroyer perhaps and just rush in and basically um, yeah blast things at point blank range so um, the Cleveland definitely tests my um, ability for self-restraint anyway um, so here I am in the Cleveland I should have been following the destroyer and the battleship going to the right by the time I'd realized it was sort of a little bit late and so at this point um, we've spotted a couple of destroyers ahead of us and if I follow those cruisers, that sorry, that destroyer, that battleship to the right, then um, I leave my carrier wide open. So I sort of have to stay here as a blocking force. So what I do is um, I load up AP um, and I start to do the business of trying to sort out these destroyers. Now um, I'm slowing down here because as soon as they see me, they uh, usually attack. Um, start working on the enemies um, on the uh, enemy's aircraft there um, right this Alabama is not great news for me um, okay then I'm getting bombed but it's not really a major issue um, because well it's putting my aircraft kill count up so I'm spotted going in reverse it's probably going to hurt, but he fired HE. Probably expecting to see some destroyers. It's good. So that probably saved me from a great deal of damage. Uh, we switched to HE, so we have these two destroyers in this battleship ahead of me. Not a great mix. So um, what I'm going to try and do here is see if I can get the angles and get some land some shots on these destroyers. All I'm trying to do here is just keep them bottled up in the cap so that my my allies on each side can um, start to clear out their caps and give us some points oh this is pretty spectacular um, right so basically both destroyers emptied all their torpedo tubes and the net result is one hit so I can feel pretty pleased about that uh, the aircraft carrier realises that I'm the only thing standing between him and a couple of destroyers and he's given me some top cover which is good to see. Um, my preference is to nail the destroyers because, well, that Alabama is... My ability to kill that Alabama is pretty, pretty mild really. Um, here's the Benson. So both the Benson and the um, Fletcher have fairly... Uh, fairly rapid reloading torpedo tubes we put the radar up and we're going to have to try and finish this guy off before he nails the um, our friendly battleship I'm probably going to get comments about the video about not using my secondaries enough fortunately I remembered where they were um, this Alabama's taken a bit of a pounding He's decided to uh, take out his, his final act of revenge on me, but it doesn't quite land. And we have the enemy bottled up. So there is a couple of destroyers left, which can be a bit of a pain. And I've lost my radar. Oh no, my radar's on cooldown actually, because it's a Cleveland, you get a couple of radars. Um, I'm sort of tempted to get the legendary captain for this, mainly because um, I'd have knocked out a lot more aircraft. Here we go. Fantastic. Um, I'm not sure that that was quite the smartest place to sit. So there we go, main guns, secondaries. Turn in because those torpedoes are on their way. Um, they were too. Is there another lot of torpedoes? Uh, yes, we're the wrong time to turn. Still, half a salvo is better. <laughs> Better than two full salvos. Um, unfortunately, my sonar is it's on cooldown, 
or is it just on its final stages? Uh, anyway, we know he's lost us. There we go. It's back. It's a problem with the replay. Use the sonar. And that's a pretty clean sweep. So, okay, my score's 22,000, which is not particularly fantastic. However, um, I'm alive. <laughs> And considering the fact that I was holding back in Alabama and uh, Fletcher and a Benson in the BCAT single-handed, I think that was a fairly good result. We don't know, I don't know where that last destroyer is, so I'll provide a bit of cover for the aircraft carrier because he provided a bit of cover for me earlier and fair's fair. But I suspect that that destroyer is basically keeping his points by heading off into the wilderness. Um, I'm not detected, so there's no point firing off my radar. Um, basically, if I'm not detected, there he is, well out of range, and uh, the battle ends. So, there's um, a Cleveland holding the centre while the, um, while the Allies mop up the wings. Um, I hope you found that uh, entertaining. I hope you found it maybe even slightly informative. Um, Certainly it's one of the battles in the Cleveland I'm more proud of because I am a I do find that I have problems landing shots in the Cleveland because of those extremely high floaty arcs um, So although the score is in the middle of the pack I feel justified and feel pretty proud about that battle 56 main battery hits 14 secondary battery hits meaning that I use my secondaries Which is pretty good for me on these types of ships Oh, found the sound